Good morning. Here I am on the way to uh, Lagaspi Sunday Market. This is where the uh, Burning Man uh, regional folks gather from time to time. I'm hoping to meet with some members of the community today. It's kind of short notice. It's not really an official gathering, but uh, it's an amazing place to uh, get some good food and hang out, but it's a really hot day, and uh, I'm not expecting a huge turnout because it is roasting. It was nice and cool yesterday, but today, kind of an oven. That's all right. We're going to check it out, and uh, a good time will be had regardless. You can already see people walking over. They've upgraded a lot of the traffic signals here in Makati, which is really cool. Alright, more later. So you might notice that um, a lot of the sidewalks, like this one, uh, have these uh, shelters over them. Dual purpose, uh, rain and sun. And today is a very sunny day. So this is Legaspi Street here. We're going to make a left and continue on towards the uh, Sunday Market. One of the things I love about Sundays here is that there's just not that many people wandering around, so the traffic isn't. Hey, can't help. hey, hey, all right. Team Tide. Yeah, so I don't know who those guys were, but I will say this you know, in the Philippines, People are like super friendly. If they see you recording, they're like, hey, shout out. So, uh, and since we have, you know, one or two viewers, I'd like to thank you both for tuning in. If uh, watching me walk around and discovering myself in weird, unusual situations is interesting then like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. My wife, who's the one who puts me up to this, will be very appreciative. So in the interest of marital harmony, like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends. All right, put the camera down for a bit. This area here is Legaspi Park, and uh, this is a great park. You see people here all the time. Not all the time in the sense that they're setting up tents or anything, but a lot of picnic. It's super well maintained. There's two sides to it. There's this side, which is sort of more kids and pets and stuff, and then there's a I don't know, more wilderness side to it, which is on, on the other side of Rada Street here. Um, we've been coming to this park for years. And on the other side of the park is where they hold the Sunday market, so... I'm actually going to walk through the park. So I don't know if these buttons actually do anything. They never have in the past, but we'll give it a whirl. Alright, we'll go into the park here. 
So you see what I mean about this being much greener? It's like the jungle side of the park. Some, uh, some amazing trees. There's, uh, the market is, ah, over that way. Try not to keep, get people involuntarily in the video. So, it's definitely nice to walk through here because it's cool. You know, you're kind of out of the sun. Even when you're walking along the street and you've got the shelter, it's still really hot. So, and then public restrooms, which are definitely going to be clean. Um, I think. I think the blast radius of the impact of people complaining about the airports at the Ninoy Aquino, in, complaining about the bathrooms at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport, <laughs> I think that like swept through the whole country because it is hard to find a public restroom that isn't very well maintained. Alright, so here we are. This is the park side entrance to the market. Um, we'll go say hi to Joel at Monster Burger, which is my favorite vendor because they do US style burgers. And uh, he's super cool. You can find him on Facebook and on all the places. Alright, so here we are at the Parkside entrance of the uh, Legaspi Sunday Market. I'm in my signature red, so hopefully the Burning Man folks will be able to find me. Um, I'm a little late, but hey, it's the Philippines, so who isn't? Try to get a good shot of this without running too many people over. So the canopy here, oh, that looks good. Roast beef meal. Okay, so now Jupiter's favorite vendor is is a grilled cheese place, which does arguably the best grilled cheese I've ever had. It is called a greater good. So usually they're right up here. Oh, no, thank you. oh and here they are. So this is their menu. Hi, good morning. Good. So this one right here, the foul play, that's Jupiter's favorite. Again, best grilled cheese I've ever had. I will probably come back and get one of those, even though I shouldn't. And then over here we have Monster Burger. So we'll walk up and surprise these folks. Um, Joel here is the guy who got me interested in keto in the first place. So you can see what they've got. A keto burger that's pretty cool. Hey, um, is it okay if I record a video? Can I get the um, can I get the quarter pounder on a coconut bun, please? Uh, yeah, plain ketchup only. Ketchup and, and maybe cheese. Uh, the cheese is additional. That's okay. Yeah. Um, let me have three of those. Hey, Joel. Hi. Hey. 
Good. Unfortunately, it's just me this time, so I'm going to bring Jupiter next time. It is, it is good to see you. And putting a, putting a little bit of weight on, but... Yeah. So, I want to introduce Joel. He's the founder of Monster Burger, which is the best burger you can get anywhere in the Philippines. Hands Thank down. You. And the gentleman who got me into keto. So Sherry Ann wants me to record everything. So oh, okay. yeah, so I'm under orders from the wife. Here. Good enough? Very good. Okay. Not blurred? No, uh, let me take my glass. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I met um, I met Joel, the, the Monster Burger guy, um, oh, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago. It's been a long time. He used to be an executive at uh, one of the pharmaceutical companies here in the Philippines, and he was tragically overweight. We both were. So he's down to about 170, and he was up there near where I was. So uh, when I saw him lose all the weight, that was definitely an inspiration. Um, so yeah, that, and again, Monster Burger, best burger in the Philippines. Um, definitely, definitely good. Uh, with lots of keto options. So they've got coconut bread and cloud bread, and I mean even their regular burger is amazing. But uh, you know, very, very keto friendly. All right, let's. Uh, Okay, another vendor coming up that I don't necessarily want to engage with, but has amazing maps. I love these maps. And my, uh, my goal at some point is to... Well, these look like AI-inspired photos. Oh, and the bag I'm carrying right now is from these guys. They take recycled material and make uh, make some great bags. By the way, this is the only place you're going to see foreigners. This is all fresh produce along here. There's a, uh, usually, for the Burning Man crew, if we can get one of these tables early, we do. But I didn't see a lot of people saying that they were going to be available this morning. So, uh, usually I'd get here early and set something up, but not today. It is actually too hot. There's a vinyl vendor here who's got records and record players and stuff. Um, with an amazing section because it seems like only the vintage stuff made it to the Philippines. The prices are aggressive, but you'll never find this stuff in the U.S. because it's already been bought by collectors. Um, oh, it's Jupiter's thing. The big ass fan. And of course the usual non-stop bar music. Uh, the vendor here up on the right usually has some good stuff from the U.S. And this is one of the most attractive displays at the market. That is amazing.
Yeah, we'll get a table and we'll put the little Burning Man sign up and do that. It's always a good time. We get a lot of visitors, a lot of couch surfers. There's a huge crossover between the Burning Man community and the couch surfing community. I it's Chinese. Um, so a lot of transient visitors. I mean, this is the Manila area, so not a lot of people stop in here. Um, you know, it's like, who takes a tour of Los Angeles? Maybe they go to Disney, maybe they go to some other place, but usually it's not the city. Manila kind of has that problem. <laughs> Which is too bad because historically, it's an amazing place. Thank you. Supposed to be very <clears throat> Do you want to buy a condo? Hi, sir. Hi. If you're interested, this is in uh, Vermont. It's called the Courtyard. Mm -hmm. This is in Imos Cavite. Ah, okay. Yeah. So what's what's interesting about this here is since it's called the Courtyard. Okay, we're back to the world's best grilled cheese. Mm. If Jupiter here were here, he would be ordering like five of these. Thank you. So, all right, well, I'm gonna go see if my burgers are ready. Looks like the people behind me just got their food, so I'm probably up. All right. It is really hot. I'm glad I used the uh, mapping application to uh, take the shortest ride here. Usually I wander all over Legaspi and then eventually I bump into this place. Because the roads, the way this place is laid out, it's like an organism. So there's not really a direct way from my place to here. So often I'll like wander around until I get to it because I know the general direction. Today I was like, screw this, I'm pulling out the Maps app and we're coming directly here. Uh. Alright, I'm going to bug out of here. As tempting as it is to get a grilled cheese, um, got a good low carb uh, burger. So I'm gonna stay with that. And uh, start making my way back. Because it's gonna be a long hot walk. So I didn't I didn't spot any of the Burning Man folks that I usually see at the market. That's okay, they were either here earlier, because uh, that's when I said I was going to be here, <laughs> uh, or it's, it's just too hot. So... Yeah, so it's just, uh, it's just too toasty today. <laughs> 